Hey everyone, Airmax here. Cyberpunk 2.0 has been released less than five days ago. And I'm telling you, I've been benchmarking this baby like never before. Never before, dude. So obviously I've been doing the benchmark on Linux and I have uh, some surprise to share with you guys. Let's get into it. So as always, we're going to start with a little bit of context. Uh, Cyberpunk is not in a perfect state right now. The release is really fresh for the patch 2.0. Uh, one of the most annoying patch ever is the fact that the UI may show controller input when you are playing with a keyboard and mouse. And this issue is not Linux related. I'm pretty sure most of you guys are using Linux and they're going to be like, oh, it's a problem with Linux and whatever. No, it's not. It's, it's just a problem with the game. It's the same on Windows. So let uh, Cyberpunk do their... Uh, actual job. The good news is that if you are on Linux, you're going to be able to fix the issue in a pretty easy way. I'm going to put the, the command line below. It's You have to modify the execution file, cyberpunk.exe. I'm going to put a little like tuto down there. This is not the purpose of this video, but if you watch this video and this is still an issue, well, you can do it really easily on Linux. Now, when it comes from experience overall, I would say uh, the AMD users are going to have a way smoother ride because, well, uh, they can't use ray tracing ready. I would say like this patch overall doesn't bring anything new for the AMD user card. So if you have a GPU from AMD and you are using Linux, good for you. You just have to launch the game. Uh, make sure you have the latest uh, Mesa Git, you know, to have the best performance. And that's all. Uh, on the other hand, if you are a Linux user like me who has an NVIDIA card, well, things are going to be a little bit more complicated for a simple reason. This new update from Cyberpunk bring a new feature called Ray Retracing. And this feature, which is pretty awesome, by the way, is available for also the Linux user. But for getting access to it, you need to make sure you have the latest NVIDIA Linux driver. Uh, when I'm recording this video, the version which actually works is a 535.113.01. You need to have this version of the driver installed on your machine to run it with the latest feature. But you also need the latest version of Proton Experimental installed. So if you don't know how to install it, I'm going to show you. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, you go to your Steam library and then you type here Proton and you're going to have Proton Experimental here. To make sure everything's going to be working well, you right click here, go on Property and I really encourage you to go on Beta here and activate the Bleeding Edge version. So you activate it here, you get out, it's going to update it. Then the next step is to go on your game, right click on it and make sure you have the latest version of Proton Experimental here enabled. And before we move on, because I'm going to explain it to you why I'm using the Proton 8.1 here, it's, it's a long story. The other thing you actually need to enable is to make sure you are faking your driver version. You need to fake the 537.42, which is a Windows version of the driver, but don't be worried, it's going to be working. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to share with you in the comment below uh, the full launch option. You're going to copy and paste it here in general of Cyberpunk. Like that, you know how it works. So again, just to make sure, latest NVIDIA driver, the Proton Experimental Bleeding Edge, and the command line will fix the driver for NVIDIA. So if you follow those three steps under Linux, you should be able to have access to Ray Reconstruction, the, the latest feature. Another like little point here, DLSS frame generation is not available yet on Linux. Unfortunately for us guys, it just doesn't work yet. At least we have Ray Reconstruction. It might certainly come in the future. I don't know when, I can't tell you when. Just keep in mind that it's just an issue related to NVIDIA and nothing related to Linux. If we want to have this function, NVIDIA need to activate it in their own driver for Linux. Simple as that. So now, why do you think I'm not using the latest version of uh, Proton Experimental? Well, um, long story short, there is a hardware issue with my NVIDIA 1490 RTX. And when I 
go through all those steps and I launch the game for whatever reason, my Nvidia card gets stuck at 40%. So if you are in the same scenario and you look at your power consumption through Nvidia SMI or through MongoHUD, and you notice that something is wrong or you have really low FPS, well, the issue might come from Proton. And I, to this date, I don't know if it's Proton. I don't know if it's VKG3G, like the translation layer. Like, I, I don't know. What I did is that I posted some type of feedback on the Valve GitHub for Cyberpunk to make sure they were aware of the issue. So far, I didn't have any answer, but there is definitely something going on there. So my only way to benchmark the game right now is to use uh, Proton GE88.1, which is relatively old and obviously which won't let me uh, use ray reconstruction. I've tested it. It works on my machine, but it just works at 40% of my capacity. NVIDIA driver, that's, uh, that's the main issue here. However, I made a lot of benchmark and there is really good news for us here because using Linux, I found some results which are aligned with the previous result I found on the other game. So guys, if you don't know, I'm not a huge benchmarker, but I noticed like a lot of games when you use them on Linux and they are CPU limited. So you have a bottleneck related to the, your CPU. Well, Linux is really performing really, really, really well and way better than Windows. So I found that in Star Wars uh, Jedi Survivor. I found the same behavior with Hogwarts Legacy. So all those heavy games which are uh, retraced and are heavily relying on uh, the CPU for the generation of the world and everything, or which are like simply coded upside down. I noticed that when you are CPU bottlenecked, FPS are way higher on Linux rather than on Windows. And before I, I, I kind of like show you some benchmarks, but those benchmarks, they were not integrated on the game. So, you know, as a viewer, you could have been like, well, you know, like you went through this direction, you did this and this, but it's not solid enough to prove your point. But in this game, there is a benchmark included within the game. And you will see it's, it's actually pretty impressive. So if you look at all the benchmark when there is no CPU bottleneck, you will notice that the difference between Windows and Linux is around like 5%. And it's aligned with what I found before in the game, which are like working normally and there is no bottleneck. No, like no bottleneck on the GPU side or on the CPU side. So if I launch the game Cyberpunk without ray tracing in ultra mode, you will see the difference between Windows and Linux is about 5% and 5% more performance on Windows. And you have to think it's logical because when you play on Linux, you have to go through the wrapper and all those translation in real time, which are creating an overhead on top of everything else. And it's around like between 5 and 15%, depending on the game. Here in this game, it's 5%. However, when I push the game and I enable like ray tracing and I push everything to ultra, well, guess what? Linux is destroying Windows by 12.6%. And I'm saying destroying because you have to think that from the get-go, you have all those layers of translation you have to go through, like as, as I was explaining before. And even getting through that, you still gain performance on Linux. And it gives you a smoother, obviously, like a gaming experience, which, which is just incredible. What you are watching right now is the B-roll of the benchmark itself. And it's, it's actually amazing to see that in those scenarios where Linux is just performing better. And, and I already wanted to take a screenshot of what is actually happening right now on Linux. For the reason I mentioned in the middle of the video, I could not benchmark the overdrive ray tracing feature because it was working, but it was not working at 100% of the performance of my graphic card for the issue related to Proton right now. And maybe the NVIDIA driver, I, I don't really know what is the cause of it not working properly here. I know some of my buddies uh, who have like a 30, um, 30 series. They don't have any issues with uh, Proton. Everything is working well. It's just with my graphic card right now. I'm still super positive about the outcome. I know it's gonna get fixed. 
and I'm not blaming uh, the developer for, of Proton or uh, the VK 3G uh, translation layer. Like I, I know it's not related to them. Is is just happening right now, and and I hope it's it's gonna be fixed. So I could have made a 25, 30 minute video showing you all the difference between all the benchmark I made between Windows and Linux, but there is nothing new in all those benchmark outside of the fact that when the game is CPU limited, when we are in those type of scenario, where well, Linux is doing way way better out of the box which is just amazing. And this is really the point of this video. I know the NVIDIA drivers are not in a great state right now compared to Windows. And I would say the Linux experience overall, when you own an NVIDIA card, might be a little bit under the AMD uh, GPU experience because you have to install those drivers, which are proprietary. But I do believe like we are aiming a future which is going to be super bright for the NVIDIA user. You can see in those scenario, w Linux is destroying Windows and we are not even at a point where everything is super optimized. So I'm thinking maybe like six, seven or like nine months from now where Nuvo and NVK are going to be like more updated and we're going to have access to that as a Linux user. It might make a huge difference. So yeah, it's, it's, it's super positive overall. Another video which proved my point, uh, Linux is going to be the future of gaming. We are not there yet, but I'm telling you, we are going there really, really fast. Guys, thank you for watching again this video. Uh, if you liked, if you enjoy the content or if you learned something, don't forget to give a thumbs up. Uh, I, I will really appreciate it. If you want to support the channel uh, financially, don't forget to become a member on YouTube or become a, a Patreon. Uh, I would really appreciate that. That's it, that's all. Enjoy Cyberpunk 2.0 on your Linux machine. It's actually super fun. Have a great rest of your day and see you in the next one. Bisous, bisous.